This area is such a diverse community, from like the food to the handmade goods. I think it's important for neighborhoods to have all the amenities that support quality of life. Also just having some pretty things to look at. This is what a neighborhood is supposed to look like. Mm -hmm. Everything we make here is made from local, fresh ingredients. That in and of itself I think is, is what makes us unique. We buy small, we buy local, we buy things with a story to support sort of small businesses. People roam to come to the shop for coffee and while they're here they can also shop books. We pick up some of the home goods too, mostly from Africa. We're like the general store in the community for people who are really into taking care of themselves. We're a new and used bookstore here on Tompkins Avenue in Bed-Stuy. We specialize in contemporary fiction, radical politics, social movements, liberation struggles. We are an all-vegan restaurant, all comfort food. The store is made up of things that we create here, things from different independent, mostly black-owned brands. This is a black community that thrives. You have over 20 black-owned businesses on one quarter. Our family's been here since 1937. I've been in Best Star for the past 25 years. I've lived in Brooklyn for nearly 20 years. My grandmother was the head of the Block Association, so I feel like I'm just continuing her legacy and her dream for her neighbors and this community. As gentrification is something that's so heavy throughout the United States, it's really powerful to be able to come to a space where the community has been able to sustain even with the changing faces. I have a 12-year-old son. The fact that he can look around and see people of color owning businesses, is a big deal. It's important for more people to know what we do here because that's how we're able to stay. One of our main goals here on Tompkins Avenue is to make this a tourist destination site and making sure people don't forget the legacy mm -hmm. that created the strong bonds that we have. Mm -hmm. So backyard tourism has come along now to give that platform to these businesses that you've helped nurture and grow so far. Brooklyn Business Center, their ultimate goal was to bring more traffic to their local businesses. And, and the solution that we came to this initiative called Backyard Tourism was asked for by the community. Backyard tourism is an infrastructure. It comprises of self-guided walking tours curated by community organizations. The community organizations curate because they know the most about their own community, their own sites. Yeah. And those walking tours pair points of interest, whether they're based on music, um, food, uh, arts and culture, history, open space, with local businesses that might be adjacent to or along the way. And ultimately, it's about storytelling. It's about community narrative. It's about community highlighting things that are special. You can't find in a Google search, and that's actually the ultimate goal yeah. for the program, is not to be another uh, run-of-the-mill tour with the sites you actually already know of. The people who respond to and support us, together we're all making this a very special area.